So this was basically a shootout between two apps, Microsoft Authenticator and Authy. I opted for Authy because they offer a desktop and mobile version of their app, but that's just one of the considerations when deciding on which two-factor authentication or 2FA app to start using. However, before we get into the weeds, just a quick overview of how 2FA works for those who are not familiar. It's now widely accepted that 2FA is one of the best ways to secure your accounts beyond a simple username and password. Most major online services now offer the option to enable two-factor authentication in their settings. Google, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, you name it, they all offer 2FA. So how does it work? Well, when you open a bank account, you're required to provide two forms of identification, say a driver's license and a passport. 2FA works in a very similar way. When you enable 2FA on one of your accounts, you're required to provide two forms of ID to prove that it's you. Firstly, your username and password, and then secondly, a six digit pin provided by the 2FA app. What makes this even more secure is that the six digit pin changes every 30 seconds. So for someone to gain access to your account, they'll need your username and password, the pin number, and be able to log into your account within 30 seconds. That makes accessing your account pretty difficult. So how do you set up 2FA? Well, to enable 2FA on one of your accounts, they'll provide you with a QR code, which you scan using the Authenticator app, and voila, that's it. Your account is now synced with the app and you're all set to go. Each time you log in from that point onwards, you'll be required to provide your username and password and the pin code shown in the 2FA app. So what makes a good 2FA app? Well, firstly, you don't need to pay for this kind of service. In fact, you don't need to pay for password management at all. And I recommend checking out a video that I did for the best free password manager for more information on that. Secondly, you'll need an option to be able to back up your authenticator device or it needs to offer multi-device access because if you lose access to the app, and those pin codes, you lose access to all your accounts. Thirdly, a pin code to open up the actual 2FA app is a nice additional feature to have since it adds an extra layer of security in case your mobile phone is ever compromised. Authy and Microsoft Authenticator both offer all the above features. Google Authenticator, which is also a free app, only recently started offering a backup option, and it doesn't offer that pin code access to open up the app, nor does it offer multi-device support. You can literally only use it on one mobile device. And that's why I've chosen to go with Authy. It offers all the above features, but where it wins out over the Microsoft app is that I can install it on both my mobile phone and desktop. So if I'm shopping on Amazon on my laptop, I don't have to go hunting around for my phone in order to log into Amazon. So there you have it, my recommendation for the best free two-factor authentication app is Authy. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like, and I'll be following up this video with a guide for setting up Authy on desktop and mobile, so be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.